Hello and welcome to another episode of Ray J Reviews, where you get to learn about what I've been doing lately and hopefully get out and do some of these things yourself. Today I'm going to tell you about, well, the entirety of 2013, because I haven't done one of these in a long time. So uh, this year it's been pretty eventful. I went on a cruise, saw George Lopez, that was kind of cool. I went to the Conroe Cajun Catfish Festival again. I went to the Renaissance Festival again. I went to the Bugs Brew and Barbecue in Tomball, Texas, and I got to actually ride in the Christmas Parade in Tomball along with the Piney Woods uh, Model A Club in my parents' Model A, which was great fun. So I'm just going to give you a summary of all these, and uh, hopefully you can get out and do some of these things because they're a lot of fun. Let's begin with the Conroe Cajun Catfish Festival. I had been there before, and it's a great event. Uh, musicians play a really big role in this uh, event. Uh, there's three stages with live bands playing all day long. But this time I decided, in addition to watching a few of the bands, that I would go to the other area of the festival, which is actually the free area. It has a lot of activities uh, for children and for adults. It has a lot of the standard carnival rides and food and such, but it also has exhibits and a talent show. Two of the exhibits uh, featured reptiles, and many of which were native to the Texas area. It's a black-throated monitor. He's coming a back black for you. Black-throated monitor. Look at the black throat. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this lizard up. Oh, bite. <laughs> Believe it or not, this turtle will bite with more bite force than a great white shark. See, while Lindsay has the alligator, we're gonna bring out our crocodile. Now let's move on to the Bugs Brew and Barbecue event that was in Tomball, Texas. Tomball is about a half hour north of downtown Houston. It's a small little town. It's a great place to go even when they're not having events. This particular event, as you can imagine, had Volkswagens of all types. There were custom ones, there were uh, vintage, there were modern. It was a wide variety and a lot of fun. They had a live band there playing. They had pony rides for the kids. They had crafts. They had barbecue, a lot of different food, and they had microbrewery beer. It was a nice event to go to. Tomball has a lot of things going on year-round. Crawfish boils, uh, chili cook-offs, and uh, the Bugs Brew and Barbecue, many other events. One more event that was in Tomball that I got to uh, participate in was the Christmas Parade. I actually got to be in the parade. I was uh, with there with my parents in their Model A, with, along with the Piney Woods Model A Club. I had a lot of fun. I got to help decorate the car, then photograph the event. And while the parade was going on and my parents' car showed up, I ran out to the middle of the parade, jumped in the car, and, and rode the rest of the way with them. Now let's move along to the last thing I'm going to cover today, which is the Renaissance Festival. The Renaissance Festival is, is in Plantersville, Texas, and I've been there many years. This time, I went to see some of the musicians again, like I always do, Tartanic, Wine and Alchemy, and the guy who plays bells. Don't know what his name is. I also interviewed some patrons there and found out what brings them back every year. How many uh, years have you guys come to the uh, Renaissance Festival? Uh, probably for like at least 10 years now. Okay. I've been coming here since I was a little girl. It's still the family thing. So what, uh, what do you all like most about it? Honestly, the people for me. There's people, the Titanic, uh, the garden. There's a lot. There's, there, it'd be an easier question to ask, what don't I like? <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, so what don't you like? <laughs> when it ends. Yeah. When it ends. This time I did something a little bit different. In addition to going to the Birds of Prey show and the Fire Whip show and all the other things I normally do, I went to the other end of the park where they have elephants and camels that you can ride. I've ridden the elephant before, but that was in Thailand. 
I didn't realize you could do that right here at the festival. <music> Also saw a young performer. Her name is Shelby, and had a chance to interview her. So, uh, what's your name? Shelby Thompson. And so, what do you do? Uh, I hula hoop. I'm working on becoming a performer. I spin fire and LED. Uh, I usually go to the campgrounds and spin, but other than that, uh, events like music events, and that's pretty much it. I've only been hula hooping for ten months. I'm part of the Fire Vixens, which is a hoop group, and we perform for uh, musicians and stuff. So that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> So, there you have it, 2013 in review. I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can go see more of these episodes by searching Ray J Reviews on either YouTube or Vimeo. Until then, I hope you can get out and enjoy life.